Eugene Fitzherbert, aka Flynn Rider, was a character who was quickly defined by his charm and quick wit, but it turns out that those traits developed to protect Ryder from his deeply tragic upbringing. According to Flynn's story in Tangled, as well as Tangled the series and other sources, Flynn didn't know who his parents were until after meeting Rapunzel, and by then he would learn why they chose to abandon him. The revelation not only led Flynn to question what his true role in the world was, but it also revealed to the audience that there was much more to his tragic origin than what was shown when Disney introduced his character. One of the biggest mysteries that was left unanswered by Tangled was not knowing who Flynn's birth parents were and why they would have abandoned him as a child. But thanks to the Disney Channel series, Rapunzel's Tangled Adventures, formerly known as Tangled the Series, there are finally answers, though none of them lighten up Flynn's story at all. Flynn, whose real name was Eugene, was actually given the name Horace by his birth parents, who happened to be the king and queen of what has since been dubbed the Dark Kingdom. King Edmund and his wife wife, who wasn't given a name in the series, didn't raise Horace, as shown in Tangled, and instead, he was sent to an orphanage where he was given the name Eugene, and as he grew up, all he could do was wonder who his parents were. In order to understand why King Edmund seemed to abandon his son, it's important to understand the legacy that his family upheld for generations before him. In Tangled, Disney introduced the Sundrop Flower, a heavenly herb that had healing properties and was what the kingdom used to save Rapunzel at birth, and ultimately gave the child her magical golden hair. Well, according to Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure, the animated Disney Channel series, the Sundrop Flower was created from a single drop of sunlight that descended from the heavens, and it turns out, it wasn't the only droplet to descend. Along with the droplet of sunlight, a single drop of pure moonlight came from the heavens, and the darkness that it brought with it would end up sealing Eugene's fate long before he was even born. The drop of moonlight was introduced in Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure as an ancient opal gem with immense power, which had been named the Moon Opal, or simply called the Moonstone, and unlike its sunlight counter part, the Moonstone possessed much darker powers, like the ability to cause anything around it to decay. After landing on the Earth over centuries, giant black rocks grew from the Moonstone Opal and eventually formed a massive dark castle, which was referred to in the series as the Dark Kingdom. It was there that Flynn's ancestors took it upon themselves to guard the Moonstone against anyone who sought to use its destructive powers for themselves. And for generations to come, Flynn's family continued to guard the stone, all the way up to Flynn's father, King Edmund's generation. But one fateful decision by King Edmund would result in him living a life of solitude, and Flynn growing up in a life of hardship without any family. Though King Edmund intended to follow in his family's footsteps and protect the stone with every fiber of his being, he would end up making a decision that would shape the life of his son and not for the better. As Disney's Tangled series continued to explain the story of the Moonstone, it also explained what led the last Dark King to abandon his son in the first place. While he had been content sticking to his duties as the ruler of the Dark Kingdom, after Edmund's son Eugene was born, the King quickly tired of all the death and decay that was being caused by the powerful opal that he swore to protect, and he eventually concluded that it would be better for everyone if he just destroyed the stone for good. Little did he know that his family would never be the same afterwards. In Rapunzel's Tangled Adventures, King Edmund was shown trying to grab hold of the Moonstone with the hopes of destroying it, but once he got too close, it had tragic repercussions. A wave of dark energy was released from the stone, which resulted in the death of someone very close to Edmund, his wife, and the mother of his child child, meaning that even if Eugene had stayed with his father, he still would have grown up without a mother. However, King Edmund's next decision only distanced Flynn from his family even more. King Edmund knew that there was no way to destroy the stone, and with the loss of his wife now, he knew the risk that it posed to those he loved more than ever. So in order to keep those in his kingdom safe, Edmund demanded that everyone leave, and yes, this even included his own son, who at that time was still named Horace. In Rapunzel's Tangled Adventures, a servant was shown taking Flynn away from the kingdom and eventually found an orphanage that would take him in. Flynn then grew up with a new name and absolutely no recollection of who his parents were or that he was a descendant of the Dark Kings. And despite him never truly being alone, Flynn grew up feeling as if he, tragically, had nobody, which ultimately led to a life of thievery and adventure. That being said, Flynn Rider wasn't always the swashbuckling charmer that Disney showed him to be in Tangled. In fact, during his childhood, he was basically the exact opposite. In Tangled, Flynn explained to Rapunzel that he based his name on a book that he used to read and take inspiration from at the orphanage where he grew up. The Tales of Flynnigan Rider was a book about a swashbuckling hero that had enough money to do anything that he ever wanted to do. And as Flynn would say, for a kid with nothing, he seemed like the better option. 
so he based his entire person on the character. But what was more important was the fact that Flynn admitted to feeling as though he had nothing, which can only describe a heartbreaking childhood. Throughout the Tangled series, viewers were given a bit more insight into Flynn's childhood and learned that growing up, he envisioned his parents as great explorers who were out on endless adventures and traveling the world, but he had no way of knowing if that was true or not, at least not at this point in time. According to the show, when Eugene wasn't imagining what his parents were doing, he was reading the tales of Flynnigan Rider out loud to the other children in the orphanage, and over time, Flynn decided to take his life into his own hands. But sadly, it didn't make it any less tragic. Eugene, along with his companion, Arnwaldo Schnitz, adopted the personas of Flynn Rider and his partner Lance, and the pair became two of the most infamous thieves in the land of Corona. However, infamy didn't lead Flynn to happiness, and instead only added to his heartbreaking life by forcing the young man to live his life constantly looking over his shoulder. Meanwhile, Flynn's father, King Edmund, forced himself to spend his life alone in the Dark Kingdom, where he spent his days ensuring that the Moonstone couldn't hurt anyone. But that didn't mean the king didn't keep tabs on his estranged son's escapades. In Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure, viewers got to see Flynn reunite with his father and learn that he had been keeping track of all the bounties and reward posters that had been placed on his son's head. After Flynn and Rapunzel learned that the power of the Sundrop Flower, which was contained inside her, could neutralize the Moonstone, they journeyed to the Dark Kingdom. It was there that Flynn ran into someone who he thought was an enemy, but really turned out to be his father. He then learned everything that he needed to know about his family. Flynn learned that his father was the king of the Dark Kingdom and was acting as a hero in keeping the world safe from the power of the Moonstone. And he also learned about the tragic death of his mother, whom he never got the chance to know. So even though Flynn's reunion with his father was heartfelt, it was still lined with despair. The series also showed the moment that Flynn discovered that Edmund had been using his ravens to look after him almost the entire time that he was growing up in the orphanage, which means despite feeling alone all of the time, he always had someone there watching him. And even after the ravens lost track of Edmund's son, they would still bring back wanted posters of him to show the king that Eugene was still out there. This detail made it clear that not only was Flynn's life tragic growing up, but also that King Edmund's life wasn't any easier. Now, you would think that the discovery of his father would mean that Flynn's life was progressively getting better, but it actually led to a bit more weight on his shoulders that he wasn't quite sure how to carry. In the series, after he learned about his ancestry and that he was supposed to be guarding the Moonstone, Flynn couldn't help but question his destiny. He finally got to a place where he was happy with who he was as a person. Entangled, we saw Flynn grow as a person thanks to Rapunzel, and at that point, he felt as if he finally figured out what his destiny was. However, with this new information that he got in Rapunzel's Tangled Adventures, he was now questioning everything that he thought he knew about his fate. Flynn was shown struggling to decide what was more important, his happiness and the life and memories he had built for himself, or his supposed destiny that he just found out about. In the end though, Eugene realized what his destiny truly was, when he realized that fate is what sent him away from the Dark Kingdom all of those years ago. Fate placed him in that orphanage, and all of the mistakes that he had made throughout his life led him to become his own person and the person that he was ultimately meant to be. And despite having a tragic upbringing and not knowing who his parents were, he still managed to become a good and caring person. Do you think that Flynn was better off growing up away from the Dark Kingdom? Make sure you let us know in the comments down below.